Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. I am sitting on the floor today because it's dark in here again and you guys know I hate the overhead lighting in the dining room. So I'm sitting on the floor right in front of the big window in our front room and I like it better. The light is good over here. So this is where I am today. This is going to be my perfume collection video. I don't get a ton of requests. Requests are always welcome. I am always happy to get some feedback from you guys on what it is that you're looking for, what you'd like to hear me talk about, you know, any of that. But I have had several requests to do a perfume collection video and I've been a little bit hesitant. Um, I'm actually kind of embarrassed by my perfume collection. Um, more embarrassed than I am by my eyeshadows. I mean, like, I love eyeshadows, so even though I have a ridiculous amount of eyeshadow, I love my, I, I love my eyeshadows. I love all of them. But when it comes to perfume, um, there's something a little bit more like, I don't know, uh, I don't know what it is. I guess I just feel a little bit more out of touch with my perfume collection than I feel like I should be. So in this video, I will talk about perfumes that I use and love and I'm familiar with and I'll talk about the ones that I um, really haven't used in such a long time that I don't even remember what they smell like. The other thing I had a little bit of difficulty with was trying to figure out how to present this video. Like, was I going to literally hold up every bottle and talk about it? Or was I just going to lay them down and show you guys? And so that this video wasn't six hours long, I decided to lay them down because I was going to be taking pictures of them anyway for my Instagram inventory. And um, I would talk about them while they were laying down on the table. So that's what I did. I do hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any feedback on how I could do this better, if I choose to do this video again in the future, feel free to leave it down below. Um, I did get my hair done. Does it look different? I feel like finally it's what I've been wanting. Like this is what I've been wanting for a long time and I finally got it. So I am loving it. I did straighten it a little bit, but yeah, that's all I have to say. So here are my full size perfume bottles. Fun fact, if you have been following me on Instagram for a while, you will see this white background in almost all of my pictures. And some of you may not know this, but it is actually a baby blanket that I got when I was pregnant with Hazel. And um, if you pan out anymore, you will see toys and diapers and walkie talkies and all the things that my house really has in it. But this blanket is a perfect square and I take Instagram photos in the square photo shape. So it works out perfectly, so. Um, these are all my full size bottles. The last time I did my inventory was in June of 2017 and I had 25 full size bottles and I have 27 now, which means I bought two in the last year and three months. Um, they are these two right here. The Vanilla Musk was an absolute impulse buy. I was walking through Meyer grocery store and saw it for like I don't know, $16 and bought it. It was like right after, it was like in January after Christmas. So total impulse buy. And Miami Glow from JLo I got after Kathleen Lights did a, I don't know if it was a summertime perfume video or something like that, but I literally wrote down every perfume that she mentioned and I ended up buying that one because it was pretty affordable compared to some of her other recommendations were a lot more expensive. Everything else here I've had for a pretty long time. The only other perfume that I have bought recently is actually this Lancome uh, La Vie Belle. My friend Canoe sold that to me um, because she heard me raving about it in a video and she said she would give it to me for a great deal and she did. So thanks Canoe. Um, 
This is interesting. This is gigantic. This is the size of my hand. The bottle is bigger than the size of my hand. It is huge. It's like, let's see if it says right here on it, how big this bottle is. It is huge. Oh, 800 milliliters, that's all. It's like an, an, a liquor bottle, but all the women in my family, my mom and my aunts and I all love this scent. It's a German cologne or a German perfume. It's unisex, so men or women can use it, and it's very lightly fragranced. It's very clean and light. And so my Aunt Joanne bought this for my mom, and my mom had it for a while, and she finally said, you know, I'm, I'm never going to use that. You should take it. So I took it. But, dun, da, 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 I have another one right here, and I finished one last year, so I still have two. So I want to finish this one, so I only have one of those, but, I mean, that's just ridiculous. It is huge. I'll put the two of them side by side so you can see how big they are. Look at that. That's like a normal perfume size. This is huge. So it's beautiful, though. I keep it out in my bathroom so I can look at it. <laughs> um... All of these other perfumes I've had for quite a while. A lot of them I bought when I went to Aruba and all the per all the perfumes were um, duty free. And I lost my mind in the duty free store. This little Lammy, isn't that cute? I think it's an old Avon. The sticker probably fell off, but I'm pretty sure this is an old Avon perfume. I have no idea what the scent is, but it's just so sweet. I'm pretty sure there used to be a sticker bot on the bottom, but it's fallen off. Because it's so old, the glue doesn't adhere anymore. Some of these perfumes I bought because a very good friend of mine was wearing them, and they smell amazing on her. And unfortunately, they just don't smell as good on me as they do on her. And I don't know why that is. I mean, it's like a body chemistry thing, right? So, um, Estee Lauder Pleasures. Love it on her, not as fond of it on me. Clinique Happy, same thing. Um, those two are the main ones that I bought because they smelled so good on her that I was like, oh, I want to smell like that. And it just doesn't smell like that on me. Um, other ones that I bought because of her are Jadore and Emporio Armani. That's a cool bottle. Can't tell how much is in there. And... Um, Curve, and I do like all of those. Those are all good, those work for me. This I bought because another friend, I haven't seen that friend in years and years, we were coworkers, but um, YSL Baby Doll was her scent and I thought it smelled so good on her that I bought it. Um, this was given to me by my friend that um, had all these perfumes, her name's Jamie, and she just didn't like it, so she gave it to me. This Leap is an old body shop perfume, and it is so old, and I've used a lot of it. It's probably more than half gone, but I only like it in the springtime. That's the only time I want to wear it, and then the second summer hits, I'm over it. Um, I haven't worn this in forever, and I haven't worn it since I bought this bottle. Never worn, never worn. I love this around Thanksgiving. This is um, Terry Mugler, Angel. And I always want to wear this at like the end of November for like a couple weeks. I always do. I don't know why. Reminds me of Thanksgiving. This is Ellen Tracy. Uh, what was the name of this perfume? It might just be Ellen Tracy, like her signature scent. That's a really pretty scent. Um, let's see, what else have I never worn? Never worn, never worn. This is the body powder that's in my Burst on Beauties that I've been wearing all year long, but I haven't been wearing that. I haven't worn this in forever. It's a Vera Wang perfume. I don't know if that's another signature scent. Yeah, I don't know. I've never worn that. This is Anna Sui. What is the scent of this one? This definitely has a name, and I can't think of what it is because she's got several perfumes. But this is good. I love this perfume. I've used about half of it. That is a really good perfume. I'm gonna leave some information on this one because I really like this one. I have no idea if any of these are still even available or if they've been discontinued. 
Michael Kors signature scent is really good. I like this in the winter too, and I've used quite a bit of it. This is a Juicy Couture perfume. My brother bought it for me one year. The label fell off of it. I don't know what any of the names of these perfumes are, but um, that's a Juicy Couture. I like it. It was really sweet of him to get that for me. Never worn. This is Alfred Song She. That's a nice one. I haven't worn it in a long time, but that's nice. And then this is the only perfume that I've really worn out of my full size perfumes lately. I mean, since I've been project panning, I've been focusing more on my body sprays, my deluxe samples, and my samples. So I really haven't been working on much of these at all. But this is the Vanilla Summer from La Vanilla, and that was in my. Labor of Love It project. And so I used this, I actually have marks on it and I use this quite a bit during the summer and I did have to like force myself to put it away, but I love this perfume. And it's really the only full size perfume that I've used um, at least since I did this inventory last June. So yeah, those are all my perfumes that are full size. So I am going to get my body sprays out next. Be right back. Here are the category that I describe as body sprays. Some of them look like perfumes, but they're called body sprays, so I'm rolling with it. In June of last year, I had 19, and I used up two. One was in a similar bottle like this, and one was in a similar bottle like this, but I did get this little one gifted to me. So I actually still have 18. I'm really only down one. I would say that this is the most important category for me to reduce and ideally eliminate. I said this in another video, but I don't think body sprays really have a role in my life or my routine. I either want to perfume that has a beautiful scent that everyone can smell, including myself, or I want nothing. So I would eventually like to completely eliminate this category altogether. And I haven't bought any body sprays in a long time. It has been years. So let's go through them. These are all Victoria's Secret perfumes. I don't know if you guys remember Riviera Sun. Enchanted Apple, Pear Glacé, Strawberries and Champagne, Secret Crush, and Heavenly. These two are Bath and Body Works. So are these two. This is a Victoria's Secret perfume as well. This is Body Source. I bought that from Kohl's. This actually I bought when I was in Germany. Look at how old and beat up that bottle is. Oh my gosh. I'm not even going to tell you how long ago I was in Germany, but... It was for high school. This was gifted to me. I had this in a project and used about half of it. I'd like to finish that off. This is Mary Kay. This is another body source. And then this is the Healing Garden. I got that from Kohl's. I don't know if you guys know this, but I used to work at Kohl's. And then, like I said, this was gifted to me by my little niece. It was really sweet of her. So yeah, those are all my body sprays. You will see them in a lot of projects if you stick with me for long enough. Here are my roller balls. At my inventory in June of last year, I had seven, and now I have nine. These two Elizabeth and James Nirvana ones were given to me by my friend Canoe, which was so sweet. Thank you, Canoe. And um, here are two Tokyo Milk ones. Neither one of them are the um, real famous one, but it's Wisdom and Chance. I got them on clearance off of Sephora a few years ago. This is Justin Bieber, right? I think this is a Justin Bieber cologne perfume. I'm pretty sure that's a Justin Bieber perfume. Let me know, guys, but I think so. Here are three amazing Grace perfumes. They're like oils, actually, and this is a clean skin roll-in perfume oil that I got in an Ipsy bag. 
I'm not sure who makes it. So yeah, this category went up by two. I really haven't touched any of these or put them in projects at all. So I think if I did, it wouldn't take me too long to go through a couple of them. I just haven't done that. I've been focusing on other things. So yeah, there's my roller balls. Oh, and I wanted to say that I, this category drives me insane because I'm pretty sure I bought two roller balls from La Vanilla the same time I bought that La Vanilla Vanilla Summer perfume, but I can't find them anywhere. And it haunts me every day because I don't know where they are and I hate losing things. So I still am on the lookout for them. I don't know what happened, but I haven't seen them in a couple years. They weren't in my last year's inventory. I couldn't find them then and I haven't found them since. So somewhere in this house are two roller balls of La Vanilla or I threw it away or something. I don't know. Hopefully they'll turn up one day. All right, here are all of my deluxe size perfumes. I know a lot of people think that these are the cutest things ever, but honestly, I wouldn't mind if this category was pretty much eliminated too. Um, they're great for projects though, I will say that, but I'm not a big fan of these deluxe samples. I had 21 last June and I have 20 now. I used up three. But I got two, these two from Influencer, free for review. These oh, two wow. are currently in projects. This is Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb, and this is Kat Von D Center. This is Camp Kat Von D Saint. These three are all Donna Karen. This is an old Victoria's Secret perfume. It came in a set of three, and I used up two of them so far. This is an old Mary Kay. This is a mini of Alfred Sui She. Don't ask me what these two are. I have no idea. Clinique Happy. I think this is a um, Liz Claiborne perfume. I don't know which kind. Oh, that's distributed by Mary Kay. Liz Claiborne, Liz Claiborne. This is a really old perfume that my mom bought me when I was like a little girl called Heaven Scent. I think that's so sweet. Um, this is a dry oil spray but I put it in this category Faith Hill True I'm not a big fan of that scent this was gifted to me by an uncle so I thought that was really sweet and look at this fancy little bottle it's called Organza Innocence I have no idea where I got that from I've had it forever um, yeah so I would like to keep putting these in projects and working through them uh, I don't want to have to pack all these little bottles up when I need to move and worry about them getting to the new house safely. I'd rather use them up now and get them out. Especially since a couple of them I have full-size versions of anyway. So, well, I guess only, yeah, these two I have full-size versions of. So I don't need those at all. And, um, oh, I did have a Victor and Rolf Bon Bon deluxe sample but I actually gave that one away I know I talk about how difficult it is for me to let go of things but I got it from Sephora as a gift with purchase it was so cute the bottle was adorable and I posted it on Instagram I didn't use it or anything and a friend of mine said that she had tried to get the same gift with purchase but it was already sold out when she made her purchase so she didn't get it and I immediately gave it to her um, and I feel really good about that because, as you can tell, I have more than enough perfume. And she, I don't know how much perfume she has, but I doubt it's this much. And she really wanted it. So um, I feel really good about that because I have such a hard time letting go of things and I get so attached to everything. But she said she really liked it and, you know, she really liked the scent. So I think she's enjoying it. And I probably wouldn't have used it yet. It would probably be sitting on a shelf like in a museum so a small success story for me so yeah we're down one in this category and two of these are in projects so hopefully eh, i don't know if i'm going to be able to finish either of them by the finale but i'm working on them all right up next is my samples here are all of my samples um this is a little bit shocking two years ago i counted that i had 60 
And last June, I counted that I have 47. And today, I have 64. So I'm not only back to where I was two years ago, but I have four more. I don't know how that happens. I obviously didn't pay for any of these, but anytime I purchase from Ulta or Sephora, I get some. So it goes to show that I've been spending way too much money at Ulta and Sephora. So I got to work on these numbers right here, big time. All right, I'm going to end this perfume inventory on a high note. I have two solid perfumes in June of last year. I had four, so I have used up two. Um, and this is a category I would absolutely like to totally eliminate from my house, my life, my collection. And I need to get back to this. After I panned the second one, I decided to take a break from it because I wanted one. I needed a break, but I would like to get back to these, finish off these two, and move out the whole solid perfume stash altogether. So that would be ideal, but I'm really happy to have half as many as I did in June of last year. I do hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.